In this tutorial, we will be using SolidWorks, which is a 3D design package, to design a night light. Okay, now the night light is going to be in the sea here. It's made of two parts. There's a box which is um, going to contain our battery and we'll have our toggle switch sticking out the side. And we're going to use uh, the second part, which will be made of acrylic, which is this part here that we can put etch writing on, uh, pictures, or we can actually make it a kind of different shape. Okay, so this is what we're going to be designing and making. So first of all, we're going to open up SolidWorks and we're going to start with the base. Okay, so from SolidWorks, I'm going to start File and New. And I'm going to start a new part. Yours may look slightly different. Uh, the change every year, so this might be a different color. It might be yellow, but we're making a new part. Okay. Each of the we're going to hopefully get away with making. Uh, if we think about a box being six sides. We'll make. A, we can hopefully try and get away with a top, a bottom, because they'll be slightly different. The two sides should be identical, so hopefully we can get away with those. And then the front and the back should be the same. Okay, so hopefully we get away with one, two, three, four parts out of the six. Okay, once we've got the parts made, then we can do the assembly where we actually mate and bring the parts together to make sure that they all fit together. Okay, so once my SolidWorks is loaded up, which is just thinking about now, okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get, go into sketch mode. So in the top left, I click on sketch. Okay, and that's going to give us an option of which plane do we want to draw in. Now we're going to draw the base as if we're looking down the way. Okay, so we're going to do that on the top plane. So I just click this corner here. All right, and I'm going to start drawing. Now in the center here is the origin. If I start drawing from the center, hopefully, and this is the kind of gold standard, is that we should see it say fully defined when we're finished. Okay, if it doesn't say that, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean that we can't carry on, but it's just one of those, it's a nice thing. It means that the computer knows exactly what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to go to the rectangle tool to start with. Okay, I'm going to start drawing from that corner. So I'm just going to click there once and do a sort of rectangle shape. I'm not worried too much at the start about the dimensions. Okay, I'm going to put all the kind of shapes that I want to start with, and then I'm going to come in later and put in the actual size of the things that I want. Okay, so I'm just using the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to use one finger joint uh, and these the short sides, and I'm going to have two on here. Okay, so again, just using the rectangle tool. Okay, not too worried, just very kind of roughly uh, drawing them in, okay. I think the only thing that's important is that they are on the line. Everything else, it doesn't really matter, okay. It will try if you see that line there, it will try and kind of connect them up and make them level. Um, but again, it's not going to matter because in a second we're going to go through and actually resize them and make them all exactly uh, what we want them to be anyway, okay. So I've just very, very roughly drawn that shape. So I'm going to have two finger joints here and one off the side, okay? So the, the walls are gonna fit in. Um, if you imagine this is the base, the one wall is gonna go here, the front and the back are gonna go like there, the sides, and then obviously the lid will go on, okay? So my next thing to do is I'm gonna to go to the Smart Dimensions, which is up on top left, and I'm gonna just start measuring these bits out. So I'm gonna do this side first of all, and I want this side here to be 40, okay? So I'm just gonna click, and just type in 40 meters. Now that first way I've done that one was I just literally just drag the line across. Okay. It's going to change that again. Didn't seem to like that for some reason. There we go. So just say 40 and okay. All right. Now I'm presuming it's in millimeters. It's always worth a little check in the bottom corner here to make sure it says MMGS. If it doesn't, change that before you start putting any numbers in. Okay. If you've already done one, you may want to just quickly. Okay. If you need to delete a, a, a dimension for other reason, you can do it. You've got to be very, very quick. You can kind of click on it, select it, and then push delete kind of like a, a millisecond later. So you're going to click and go delete and it will vanish. If you're not, not quick enough, it will kind of uh, try and give you errors. Okay, it can be done. You just can be very, very quick. All right, that's okay. So I'm just going to leave that. All right, so I'm now going to do this top line. I'm going to say that's going to be 80. 
Okay, so this is going to be 40 by 80. My battery is approximately 50 long, so I can't go any shorter than that, and it's approximately 25 wide. So again, this should be big enough to get the battery kind of in the center, and then on top of that, we can put our circuit board and then run the, the switch off the side from there. Okay, so the finger joints, it doesn't really matter the size, but I'm just going to pick a number and do them all the same. Just going to be helpful. Okay, so I'm just going to say, uh, move that way there, and I'm going to do this as 10, and say OK. All right, I'm just going to go around. Now, you can do it from the drawing the line. Another way, if it's getting a bit fiddly when you do smart dimensions, you can go point to point, okay? And that's sometimes more useful if things are getting a little bit stuck, okay? So sometimes you can drag it away, okay? Another thing that happens sometimes is you'll get this blue dot appear, and in the middle of a line and it just kind of won't let you do anything if that happens then just push the escape key top left on your keyboard and try again okay so i've just gone around the middle all those finger joints 10. obviously the sides of those need to be three mils okay now because i've done this as a rectangle ah there's that blue can you see that blue in the middle Okay, so it won't let me do anything now. So I'm just going to push escape until that's gone. And I'm going to go dot to dot and out. Okay. So because it's a rectangle. Oh, that's, it's gone again. You see that blue arrow? So I'm just going to push escape dot to dot. Because it's a little bit, a bit narrow and a bit fiddly here. Okay. It might be worth me zooming in a little bit. That might make my life a little bit easier. There we go. I can make that three. Now, as I was saying, because it's a rectangle, you only need to do one side. If, by accident, you try and do both sides, so I think when I get to the last one, I'll probably try and do both sides, just to show you what I mean. Okay, so each of those I've said is 10 by three. If, by accident, I go in here, because I'm and, and try and make that a dimension, I'll get this warning. If you ever get that warning, say cancel, because it, you're over-defining. OK, you, you, it already knows because it's a rectangle, it's got to be three by ten. I don't need to tell it the other two sides of the dimensions. So I'm just going to cancel on there. OK, so if I look down here, it's now telling me it's still telling me I'm undefined. OK, so I've said the overall width and height and I've said the finger joints, what their height and width are. I now need to say what the gaps are. So I need to do a little bit of calculations here and think, well, I've got I've got 80 there minus the 10 and the 10 that's going to give me down to 60 and then i've got three gaps so each of those gaps to be equidistant is going to be 20. okay so i'm just going to go dot to dot into there and say 20. okay and let's try this one here so dot to dot move that down a little bit and 20 you can move the dimension lines up and down if, they, if they're going to come side to side if they're getting in your way and you stop you see what's actually going on you can move them around i don't because that's 20 10 20 10 it knows what that is because the overall is 80 okay so i'm going to do the same down here so dot to dot and that's going to be 20 uh, this time i'm going to do the side it might be a little bit easier for me just to see Okay, and that's 20. And I don't need to do that middle one because obviously that's going to add up to the 80. Down the sides here, I've got 10 off there. It's going to give me 30. So divided by 2 is going to be 15. Okay, so from there to there is going to be 15. Obviously, I only need to do one side because, again, the computer will know the other dimension. And this one I'm just going to do down here, just in a slightly different place. Okay, so I have now... All right, got my gold standard down here of fully defined. That means the computer knows what all the dimensions are. All right, the last, okay, so that's my, my first step on the sketches. I now need to get rid of the bits that I don't need. Okay, so to do that, I go to Trim Entities. Always make sure it's on the last selection, Trim to Closest. And then I'm just going to click around there and remove the bottom pieces there. Okay, so let's remove that, remove that. You have to click twice because obviously you're deleting the, the kind of big line and then the middle line. All right, so that's now exactly the shape and size that I want the base to be. So I'm going to say, okay, green tick. Now to make this 3D so I can actually attach it to other bits in the assembly. All right, I'm going to come out of sketch, your top left, I'm going to go exit sketch. Okay, and I'm going to go 
into features. Now, before I push the extrude base uh, boss base button here, I'm going to make sure that it selects sketch one. If you don't have select one selected, it might do you strange things. Okay, so always make sure you've clicked on there, sketch one, it's, it's selected. Okay, into extrude. Okay, and you should see it starts to go up the way. And I just need to change this measurement here to three, and that'll give me my three millimeters of what I need to be. Okay, green tick, that bit there is now done. Okay, I can now go save as. All right. Uh, make sure that I've got a year nine folder, okay, and I'm just going to call this projector box base, okay, because it's a projector lamp kind of thing, all right, and go save, all right, I'm now going to start doing one of the sides, okay, now I need to kind of in my head remember what I had, so it's going to be 40 along, and then this middle bit here is going to be 10, so it's going to be 40 by 15, 10, 15, Okay, and then I'm going to need to decide the height going up the way. Now the battery is about 20, so to give me space for any wiring and the circuit board, I'm just going to say 35 to be sure. Okay, so I'm going to start the next piece. All right, so I'm going to go, uh, I'm just going to close that off just to save a little bit of thing. It's saved, I know where it is, I can bring it back when I need to. Okay, so I'm now going to start file and new, and this time, I'm going to make the sides, okay? Now, obviously, I need to make one of these, and hopefully we can use it twice. So, again, sketch, sketch, and this time I'm going to do it on the right plane, okay? Uh, start with the rectangle from the center, okay? And, again, I'm just kind of sketching out what I want it to look like. So, it's going to have this middle finger joint. I'm also going to need to do finger joints on the sides here for where it can kind of connect to the sides, and to the lid as well okay so it needs to have a, a finger joint uh, in the center of each of the four corners okay so i've drawn out the shape now i need to go into the smart dimensions i'm going to make each of these 10 mil okay oh that's gone wrong there now that's actually selected the whole length of there so i might as well while i'm here that length's going to be 35 Okay, you'll see it sh shoots up and changing shape. That's fine. I can just zoom in and out. While I'm here as well, let's do this one. This one we said was going to be 40. Okay, so we're now 40. That's our, the width of the box. And then the height's going to be 35. Okay, so I can go back in now and do my, my finger joints, which are all going to be 10. Uh, remember, if you get that blue dot, just to push escape and go dot to dot. Now over here, dot to dot, I'm going to say that's 10 as well. All right, so now I need to put these into the middle. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 40 take away 10 is 30 divided by 2 is going to be 30, 15. So I'm just going to go dot, to dot there is going to be 15. Okay, and obviously I don't need to do that one because that one's already done. I do need to do this one here. So I'm just going to say from there to there is 15. That's already right in the middle that's fine okay it already knows the top is 40 so i don't need to do that i don't need to say that size 35 because this one's already telling it's 35 there it's going to move these down a little bit so i can see a bit clearer uh so i just need to space these two over here so 10 so 35 take away 10 is 25 half of 25 is 12 and a half so i'm just going to say from there to there is going to be 12.5 and I'm going to do the same on the other side, but I'll do it from the, the bottom. Okay, just to, to show that it doesn't matter which end. Okay. All right. Now I can go through and delete the parts that I don't need. So trim entities. Okay, um, 12 and a half, 12 and a half. Just going to double check, because I've still got underdefined here, so I'm just going to spend a second just saying, does it need to have that one on there? No, it doesn't need to have that one. Just check this one. No, it doesn't need to have that one. 
15, 10, 40, 25, 10, 35. Okay. Uh, so actually for this one, I can't see why... Oh, there we go. These bits here we've not said are 3 mil, so that's why that's saying under defined.